You get to the wand tool by hitting W. If you're not seeing the wand tool and you're seeing the quick selection tool instead, hit Shift W or just go here and click and drag and go here like someone really slow at using it. <coughs> the wand tool allows you to select a large block of color. So, for instance, if you have a large block of color like this and you want to select everything that's white and get rid of it, all you do is hit delete and that allows you to get rid of it. So let's take a step back. If you have a background layer and you press delete and try to get rid of something, instead of this happening, you get something weird like uh, this happening because it tries to fill it with content aware. And I imagine this isn't exactly what you want, as cool as it is. Content aware has its place, but for now we're gonna double click. Delete this right here, hit control D to deselect. So there you go. S select a block of color, hit delete. And let's say you try selecting a block of color and instead of getting that, you get something that looks a lot more like, uh, here we go, uh, something that looks a lot more like this, or this, or this. What you can do is you can hit Shift Select, and that way keep adding to your selection right here. So first I hit Shift, and then I click, and then I'm able to keep adding to my selection. But always pay attention to see if it's easier to select the foreground, or if it's easier to select the background. Because in this case, it's a lot easier to just click here, than to try Shift Selecting this middle area right there. Uh, Make sure contiguous is either checked or unchecked depending on the situation. So in this section, uh, contiguous means is it touching. So in this example, uh, we want contiguous checked. Otherwise, we'll end up deleting parts of, say, the eye because it's the same equal color white right here. However, if it's an image such as, uh, not that, if it's an image such as this and contiguous is checked, we don't select the parts of the sky inside of here. So I'm going to uncheck this. Ah. And there we go, we get all the parts of the sky like this. Now let's say that you go to uh, select this, and what happens is something along the lines of this. In other words, way too much is selected. What you need to adjust there is the tolerance. What the tolerance does is it looks at the exact pixel that you selected. So in this case, let's zoom in a little bit. So in this case, the exact pixel color is let's say it's this blue right here, it looks for something 70 shades darker and 70 shades lighter, or actually 35 in either direction, but don't worry about that. The standard number here is 32, and that should generally work in most situations. If it doesn't, just try something else, increase it by 10, decrease it by 10, uh, try sampling other areas. A lot of times what will happen is you'll grab one particular area and it will be 99% right, but 99% right is still 1% off, and in order to make those final changes, you'll need to quickly go in with something like the uh, lasso tool and just make those, uh, make those changes by using either alt selecting or shift selecting. Uh, but getting back to the wand tool, because that's what we're talking about here, you generally always leave anti-alias on, you generally leave it to point sample, although in a case like this, an 11 by 11 average would probably work a little bit better. Sample all layers is up to you if you want to do it on this layer or another layer, and those are the options. One last thing that I want to show you, though. Don't try using it with something like this, because you'll end up uh, getting a pretty lousy selection. That's really when the Quick Selection tool uh, comes in order. The Quick Select tool. You get to this Quick Select tool by hitting W. It's possible that might bring up the Magic Wand tool. If that's the case, just hit Shift W. Uh, the way that the Quick Select tool works is you drag it across a similar area of color, and it selects what you want to. Now make sure you're on the right layer, otherwise this is going to happen. So I'm just going to hit Control Z, and then zoom across and get it working how I want. If you want to increase the size of this tool, use the square bracket key. And in order to decrease the size of this tool, use the other square bracket key. So let's say I want to go up in this head right here. I can just hit spacebar to zoom around the screen. Ah, there we go. And move up here like this. Uh, now, unlike all of the other selection tools, you don't need to hit shift to add. It does that by default. However, if you go a little bit too far, uh, such as is happening, let's say down here, if you hold down alt, you can subtract a certain area from the selection by using quick select. So there you go right there. Um, other things that you can do right here, you can sample all layers. You can change the brush size right here, though really the size is the only thing you'll generally have to worry about. Hardness and spacing don't affect this much. Um, auto enhance is just a way of, you know, having the computer take longer to process. Try it on, try it off. That is the quick select tool. Once you're done making your selection though, be it with the wand tool, be it with the quick selection, be it with the lasso tool, the last step you want to do is go to refine edge. And there's a lot of great options here, but it's not a tool, so I'm not going to cover it.